I am going to break Clash Royale by building the four fastest cycle evolution decks. Because with a cheap cycle, we can infinitely spam evolution after evolution, potentially making these the four most broken decks in the game. Starting out with a 1.9 Evolve Firecracker cycle. Minor right side with some wall breakers. Get to the Firecracker as soon as he possibly can. Fire Spirit going in as well. We already have one Firecracker halfway to an Evolve version. And she is able to splash the tower as well for not only one shot, but two shots. Bring it down to 3,300. Oh, and one more. Let's go. One more Firecracker over here. We already have the Evolve version unlocked. Oh, no. He has an Eagleum deck. Oh, the bowler. I don't know how we defend this, but let's hope the power of the evolutions can save us. I'm going to go Firecracker behind our tower to make it safe from a NATO. Come on, come on, come on. Kill this for this. There it is. There it is. There it is. Come on. Evolution. Yo, we shut it down with the power of the evolved firecracker we maintain damage lead and she's still alive let's go kill split over here support the counter push get destroyed by the log spell but both warbreakers connect and so does the evolved firecracker and that tower is going down baby Miner goes in finish the tower off he does get the king tower activation but the miner stakes in tower goes down anyways we need to clutch up one more defense we need one more firecracker here for the evolution version okay distraction please let's go let's go let's go Firecracker, stay alive. We snowball literally nothing. <laughs> but look at these firecrackers, man. Unbreakable defense with the power of firecracker cycle. He has no chance of breaking through. This is absurd, Clash Royale. Can we make it a three crown? Can we get a three crown with three firecrackers in the arena? Oh, can we get one more evolution? Yo, two. Oh, it counts. She's basically in the arena right now. Firecracker, I'm going to give you a solid 10 out of 10. That means next up, we have a 1.8 cycle Skeleton Evolution. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, we destroy the bandits. Go Miner here to tank with some Skeletons as well. We're now two out of three cycles for the Skeletons. The Miner is tanking. Distracts the baby dragon. The bat's going in. The Skeleton's going in. And the Barbarian? Yo, how do we just deal 1,300 damage? Uh, we might be fine here. If we distract... Oh, he's got the arrows. Let's go one more skeletons. Get the skeleton activated. Three out of three. Oh no. All right, well, here's the new plan. Minor Wahlberger's left side. He's gonna respond to that with something, right? He opts not to. Can we go skeleton evolution here? Is he back to arrows yet? If he has to waste his arrows on these skeletons, then he has nothing for offense. The skeletons evolve, they multiply, they destroy his tower. Can we go for the king? Can we go for the king? Can we force out an arrows? I wanna force an arrows right now. Or, actually he doesn't, he gets three crowned. Skeletons keep going, and they keep going, and he gets three crowned? Looks like we're facing up against a P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam deck. He's out to down, but we do destroy the Barbarian Battle Ram. But we now have the third Skeleton Cycle going down, so the evolution is now enabled. Wallbreaker's pull the ghost over. Um, does it do anything, though? I mean, one Wallbreaker connects. Uh, we're gonna go Miner here for this, right? He's gonna go Magic Archer. I can guarantee we're gonna see a Magic Archer here in three seconds. Yes, I knew it. Uh, only two shots to my t Three shots to my tower. Okay, he's gonna save his zap for my bats. If I go bats over here, then we bait out the zap spell, then we go in with these skeletons. Yes, okay. We baited the zap spell. Infinite skeletons now for the Balaram and the Pekka. Come on, infinite skeleton army. Let's go multiply and destroy. Yes, sir. We finish the Pekka off. We distract the bandit. Skeleton's going in. Can we convert to a successful counter push here? He's got no zap in hand. He's got no zap in hand. He overcommitted. Oh, but the Electro Wizard. That's still 2,000 damage we just dealt. A bar bill for this. But the wall breaker is here. Skeletons as well. Minor and inside plant, so he can't go in with the P.E.K.K.A. And we might be able to distract. Come on, wall breaker. Come on, fire spirit. Come on, spear goblins. He wasted his zap spell. We might have a potential opening here to go in with the skeletons. We need one more skeleton for the evolution. That battle arm's going to hurt. We're going to go fire spirit here. Bar barrel as well. Spear Goblins as well. Come on, come on, come on. Infinite Skeletons in lock now. Infinite Skeletons going down. Come on, Skeleton Army. You can do it, baby. He has to fireball them down. <laughs> he has to resort to a fireball for the Skeletons. Yo. Four for one negative trade against our dear friend. I'm all about that life. But he is keeping the pressure up. He's doing a fantastic job here, too. Respect, my dude. Definitely respect. We need to throw the Fire Spirit. Barbell here for the ghosty boy. Do we distract it in time? We do. Nice. Let's go. Then we're gonna go this, this, minor back here, E Spirit for the stunnage. And then we finish off the battle ram. There we go. Come on. Infinite Skeleton one more time for the win. 
Does he zap it down? He does go ghost, and we finish the skeletons off, but we distract for the miner. The miner goes in, and we destroy that tower. And now we're keeping the infinite pressure with the skeletons, with the bats, with the miner going up. He wastes a zap spell. Back gets in there, gets almost one bite. Ooh. Electro spirit. Miner. Fire spirit. Skeletons. Battle ram, please. Destroy everything, my friend. Finish off the entire army that he has. Yes. We do the uh, ghost. Oh, no. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. That was close. That was a close call. I thought he was going to go Magic Archer there and destroy us, but thankfully he did not. Barbell here for the Electro Wizard. Mine in the back as well. Skeletons for the Battle Ram. We only need one more for the Evolved version, but the Mine goes in and finishes the tower off. GG. Now, now, now we finish it off. I was a bit worried there. I was a bit worried. Ah, uh, GG's, buddy. GG's. I'm going to give Skeletons a solid 5 out of 10 just because they die so easily. But next up, we have a 2.0 super fast cycle. Evolved Royal Giant. 1RG going down. He already wastes his Infernal during left side, which means we have an opportunity to go in with the Royal Giant right lane. Oh, no. If he's got arrows or zap or anything like that, we are completely and utterly dead. Let's try and pull the Infernal away and then surround it with some bats. I want to support my uh, Royal Giant here, please. Kill that, please. E Spirit. Oh, more bats, though. More bats. All right, we finish off the Infernal Dragon. We don't lose our tower, and we now have an E Vault Royal Giant ready to go. However, he has an Infernal Dragon in hand, so if we aren't careful, that will absolutely melt our Royal Giant. So instead, what I want to do is I want to bait him into using his Infernal Dragon and then go with the Evolved Royal Giant. Actually, I have a better plan. Royal Giant right side, that's for the Balloon. And then we're going to go Electro Spirit here for that Infernal Dragon. We know he's going to do it. He's going to drop it somewhere. Look at the RG go crazy. Look at that damage. Even with the Infernal Dragon, it's still no match. And you know what that means? It's time for the ultimate fast cycle. One more evolved Royal Giant over here, left side of the arena. Come on. Knocks away the knocks away the barbarians. Yes, sir. And that tower's destroyed. Barbarians and an infernal dragon are no match. The tower gets melted. First Royal Giant going down because of the fast cycle. We want to get in there as fast as we possibly can. We destroy the goblins. Oh, how much damage does RG do? One shot. Two shots, three shots, baby. Bit of defense here. Let's go. I gotta go bar barrel. I don't really want to, but we gotta. I want to save the bar barrel for his golf barrel. But you know what? <laughs> we already have. We already have an evolved Rilla giant. We're 30 seconds in this battle, and we have an evolved Rilla giant ready to go. We're gonna go bats over here for the prince and the golf barrel. Heal spirit to distract the prince, please. We're back to skeletons. Yes, let's let's go. We destroy the prince. Can we finish off the princess as well, please? Prince, don't do it. Yes. We're going to go in with the Evolved Royal Giant. He has to go in with the Rascals. But you know what? With the power of the Electro Spirit, it should turn on to most of the targets. And the Dark Goblin. And the RG shreds that tower. Dude. I don't want to use the Bar Barrel. I want to keep the Bar Barrel for something else. We finish the Princess off. He does use a Log Spell. But we are back to another RG. Go so RG here. I'm hoping he goes Goblin Gang. Ah, there it is. I, hope he, I was hoping he would use it earlier. That's okay, because we can go in with the Evolve Royal Giant afterwards, so we should be fine. The Spirit chains onto most of the things. Yes, sir. And we're back to another Royal Giant. Dude, the cycle is insane. The cycle is overpowered. I'm going to go in here with the, with the RG. I don't even care that he has a Prince in there. I'm going in anyways. He's going to log it down, though, right? He has to log it down. Boom. Look at this. The extra HP. The RG's tanking. We destroy. Does he got Rocket? He has to have Rocket. But honestly, though, if he goes Rocket, we can go RG the Pocket. That's fine. If he goes rocket, we can go RG right here. Oh, he, he tries to go princess. He's got no elixir to defend our royal giant. We can go with the RG here right side. We can heal it up with the heal spirit. Come on. Yes, sir. And now we have an evolved royal giant ready to go. There's no way he stops us in time. If I go RG right here with a rage bell, he's got no chance. He's literally got no chance. Look at this. We rage it up. We heal it up with the heal spirit. Then we go with the electro spirit. That's it. He can't stop it. He literally can't stop it. The Evolved RG, way too powerful. Tower goes down and a two crown victory. Royal Giant Evolution, you get a nine out of 10. And that leads our final Evolved deck, a 2.0 Barbarian Cycle. First set of Barbarians going down. Evolution is now activated. We do have a fast cycle so we can get back to it pretty quickly. Oh man, thankfully we got Bomber in our deck. <laughs> thankfully we got a Bomber in here to deal with that, which we already have Evolved Barbarians going down. 
Do I want to go left lane? With oh, no, he's got Bomber. Good thing we didn't go left lane there, Shane. But you know what I want to do right now, though? I really want to go Barbarian to right side. Get him evolved up. Then we're going to go Heal Spirit here. What does he have to as a response? He's got a Fly Machine. It's not going to be enough, though. Can we Rage our Barbarians here? Rage him up. Heal him up to full HP. Rage plus Heal Spirit plus Evolve Barbarians equals a destroyed tower. Uh-oh. He's got a Goblin Giant coming in. If I can go Barbarians here. Oh, that Fly Machine is lock on my tower. That hurts, dude. We a lot of tower damage. Should have went bats instead, but it's all right. We still have a one tower lead. <laughs> We're already back to some evolved barbarians. I'm going to go split them up. Three to the right, two to the left lane here, just because there is a P.E.K.K.A. coming in hot. And I also want to defend my right tower against a potential goblin giant. Ooh. Hello there, Mr. Fly Machine. Do we destroy it? Oh, so close. But the evolved barbarian should devour the goblin giant and the P.E.K.K.A. Yo. <laughs> the P.E.K.K.A. did not stand a chance. Now we can go with more Barbarians in the middle. Heal Spirit right side. Ice Spirit as well. Can we overpower the Witch? We can. We have three Barbarians down right lane. Going in for the Cane Tower. Can we get more? Dude. Oh, bro. Giant meet my Barbarians. I really wish that Firecracker was not there. But we do finish off the Raw Giant. Barbarians going in. And they get destroyed. Oh, maybe not. I don't think so. No, they get destroyed. And now we have the Evil Barbarians. I have a feeling he's got... No, wait. Never mind. He's got an Earthquake. What are the chances he's got an Earthquake and a Fireball in his deck? I don't know. Oh, he's got a Wizard, though. Run, Barbarians. Run, please. I mean, how much damage can they do? Even with the Wizard in there, they deal... Honestly, 2,000? No. Shane, learn to math. <laughs> it's not 2,000. But it's something. Come on, come on, come on. Stop the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Ooh, that was so close. Wait. Matt chose to upgrade the Wizard to level 15? Out of all the cards he could have upgraded, he chose the Wizard to go to level 15? I mean, he probably chose to use the Power Potion. That's what I'm thinking right now, because there's no way you spend 50,000 Elite Wild Cards on a Wizard. But still, if you have a Power Potion, why would you use it on the Wizard? <laughs> I don't even know. All right, let's go in. Bomb over here left side. I don't want to do anything with the Barbarian's left lane, because that Wizard is basically destroying my face right now. It is destroying my face, but... We finish off the Royal Giant, we finish off the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Split the Evolved Barbarians, dual lane aggression, dual lane pressure. Our Spirit right side as well for support. Bomber left lane for that Wizard. I really wish I had a Barbarian Barrel right now. Because that Wizard is destroying me. But, if I go in with a Rage Spell for these Barbarians, what can we get done? Can we do anything of some substance? Come on, run, run! Heal Spirit, get in there! Heal the Barbarians! Let's go! Yo! Even a Wizard! And a Firecracker! Cannot deny the Evolved Barbarians. Matt, good game. That's the end of the video. Subscribe for some more Clash Royale content.